excited right now. Are you why? Yes, Carson Arthur is here. Celebrity Gardens stylist, personality, kind of the list goes on and on and on <laughs> and on. And but on. And on. But we're going to have some fun this morning because we're, we're, we're going through some of the gardening myths. Yeah, we're going to dispel some of the things that people probably learned from their grandparents and we pass it on and on and on. We're ending it today. Some of these you've never heard before, some you'll recognize, but I promise they'll all be exciting. So let's start off. You're going to have a all little right. fun, all right? Okay, True yes. or false? <laughs> you look terrified. <laughs> terrified. Non-chemical pesticides, organic pesticides and herbicides, more or less toxic in your garden? Less? False. Okay. So I'm going to start spraying you with a water gun every mm -hmm. time you get one. No, no. Uh, That's basically, good. We're going yeah, with yeah, the white we'll shirt. Go the, white shirt. <laughs> the thing about organic pesticides is they're just as toxic as the non-organic variety. What makes them organic is they break down in the environment differently, and that's what makes them a little safer for the, the earth itself. However, people can assume that they're all safe, and they can't just go spraying willy-nilly. Make sure you read the back of the label. Organic pesticides are often made from the chrysanthemum, this flower here, which is extremely toxic. In fact, if you've got deer or rabbits eating your plants, mm -hmm. this is the one you put in because they don't eat it. Nothing eats that plant. So you'd want to plant this if you've got Absolutely. a lot of animals coming yeah. by. It's a beautiful plant. I mean, you don't want to plant it if your dog or cat eats out of your garden, but gotcha. other than that, this is a great plant, but it's very toxic. And this is what's used for most of these chemical sprays. It's a derivative of that leaf. So be very careful, read the label, and you should you're be not fine. saying not to use this, just don't have the understanding that it's yeah. not like you're, you know, go roll around. Exactly. It's not more mild. It's okay. still very toxic. Just be smart about it. Gotcha. All right? Yes. Environmentally speaking, mm -hmm. what is safer, gas or battery power tools? Well, I, you, the battery power, batteries is what's going to happen to the batteries after they're done, right? Good Mike answer. Kind of going yeah. around the, yeah. the right track yeah. here. So what's safer, gas or battery? Come on. Gas. Well, well, I don't know, batteries. Well, uh, I'm going uh, battery. Uh, uh. <laughs> We know that gas-powered tools burn fossil fuels, and burning fossil fuels is very bad for the air and the atmosphere. However, we've also learned that batteries in the landfill, as you mentioned, extremely hazardous. So, what you need to do is you need to pick a line of power tools, battery operated, that have a recycling program behind the batteries. Ah. Now, these Black & Decker tools have just that. You can see right there, they have a recycling logo and a 1-800 number that you can call because they're able to reuse the parts, the components. That makes the battery option much more friendly. The other thing that I like about these particular tools, these batteries go in each tool, so they switch around, so you have multi-purpose. Even this one, which is the battery for the lawnmower, can go in the tiller. So it switches around and you have options, so anytime you can have multiple uses, it's better. And the fact that these tools are on sale right now during Green Week, mm -hmm. really good idea. You save a little bit of money, you save the environment, and you can actually take advantage of some of the good products that are available. Well, it's nice that they're transferable, I think that's key right there. Yeah, right? it's huge. Yeah. Very key. All right, let's, are you having fun so yeah, far? Yeah, I am. Okay, right. let's get to one you might know a little bit more about. Beer. <laughs> beer. Beer was always said to be a good uh, attractant for slugs and to kill slugs in your garden. You people used to put beer in mm -hmm. a little dish. True or false, does it work? Well, it, yes. It does work, but it doesn't help your garden. <laughs> the truth is we've measured the amount of slugs in the garden before and after and while the beer does actually bring slugs in, it also brings them in from the lawn, from the neighbor's garden. It's basically like if you have free beer in your backyard, you're going to get lots of neighbors. That's what happens with slugs. So don't use the beer, you actually end up with more in your backyard than you had before. So stop doing that. So just consume it on your own and stop wasting it. Exactly. Uh, beer is good for the gardener, mm -hmm. not the garden. Now, one more before we go. Eggshells. Speaking of slugs, we used to talk a lot about eggshells being a sharp substance and that we'd spread around the hostas or the bottom of the hostas because the slugs wouldn't cross over it. True or false? Does it work? No. You're right. You got one right. <laughs> Woo! Slugs Come don't on, care. I, I was two for two. Oh, okay, okay, two for two. Yes. We're keeping track. Okay. Slugs don't care. They go right over top of the shells. They don't bother, they're not bothered by that at all. The better option is to take a little piece of copper wire and put it around. Copper naturally has a little electric charge, and basically you're making electric fences for your plants that the slugs don't like, and that works for me. Okay, so I mean, these are things too that a lot of people are, are saying, this is what I, I've done, this is what yeah. the generations have completely passed Absolutely. on. So we're breaking trends here. The science says, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, cheers. But can, I have the, can we have the beer <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a commercial break. We have more with Carson Arthur, including a giveaway, so you wanna stay tuned for that. 